Alright you guys, we are back here at my place and you might notice it looks a little different and I'll explain why in a second. I've made some modifications, but also some some shit went down, some crazy shit. Um <laughs> But yeah, I'm still got some modifications to do because that obviously looks horrible and yeah, I'm definitely gonna be making this house look better, so don't don't think that this is done. But um basically we had a griefer and it really disappointed me because it was a guy I've, I've known for a long, long, long time. Well, not that long, but like a year. <laughs> um, but I've known him for a while, and we played on this on the old vanilla server, and he was a really early member, and we played zombies together and stuff like that. But anyways, um, this is dangerous. Anyways, he was a friend, and he was young, but he was still a friend and but yeah basically he just he got in an argument with another guy on the server wolf who's on right now and even if even if wolf was in the wrong in the whole story um even if nick's side of the story was completely true um he still shouldn't have done what he did basically he deleted a bunch of wolf snipers and jaden's things and he also stole my portal gun deleted like broke a bunch of my stuff and shot a shot the gun to the moon and if you know what that does that sucks up a bunch of stuff and it uh whoa 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 it uh actually ruined a bunch of stuff at spawn so I had to actually do a bunch of repairing and and stuff it was either load from the backup or um just like game mode quickly and repair it and so I just game mode quickly and repair it repaired it um I didn't like give anything extra or anything I just repaired the damage and deleted the deleted the portal because it was either that or load from backup so it's basically the same thing but I just didn't want to ruin anyone else's progress um, just because my area and um, a few other people's area was destroyed so yeah basically I'm really disappointed in him and I won't be talking to him again um, and I'm just glad he's off the server now um, because he was his, he caused a lot of drama he surely did. He was always involved in it, but, you know, no need for the way he's acting. Because he was just being really immature, like, really bad. Like, I know he's young, but he wouldn't leave the team speak. He was making me ban him instead of just being, you know, civilized and just leaving on his own, you know. He's like, I was at work at first when this was all happening, so I couldn't ban him right away. And he told me to ban him instead of just leaving so it's just like obviously you don't care you're just being a dick you know so whatever and then I had to deal with him on TeamSpeak which was so annoying um because I couldn't figure out how to how to kick people because I kept banning him but it wasn't actually banning him but I got it now <laughs> now he cannot join but anyways um I've been doing some work in the meantime as well yeah, I got I got some stuff done as you can see. This is this was a present from Dom. It's a cage light and they're they're not too expensive to make. Let me just er, cage, cage. I can spell, I think. Um oh, that's an that's an inverted one, but um let me just get like I don't want an inverted one. Blue cage lamp. Okay. So like, you know, it's not too 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 expensive all this stuff, you know. It's doable. So that's that's really cool. I'm definitely going to be um, making some more of those. I'll talk about that downfall all day. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm um. So yeah, I've done some renos here. This is marble stone brick, and you just you know make that out of this marble stuff here. And this is obviously the stuff I've been using up there, and it just looks really nice like that. I think gives a really nice look. This is not done either. I still gotta make this look nicer. I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna make it come together, but it's starting to um, with these nice corner stairs. Um, I don't think I have any new machines. Yeah, I have a compressor, I think. I, I don't remember what I had last time. I've been doing so much work on both servers, I really... <laughs> I'm forgetting where I am. But anyways, we've got all this stuff, and we've got an MFE here, which is awesome. That's how I um, can power my nano saber, which I made, and because I did a bunch of mining, I'll show you everything that's been going on, anyways. But I've got my new power set up. Well, not new, but I reorganized everything back here, and I'm 
quite proud of how clean I made this. Like, I know it's not that clean, but, like, I'm quite proud of, like, how clean this area is. It's just, like, okay. Four, four solar panels? Yeah. No, okay. There's one on top of the MFE. One, two, three, four. I think there's five solar panels. But, um, yeah, I think I have five now. But there's five solar panels hooked up to the MFE. And then through the MFE, it goes to this low voltage transformer and to all the machines. And then also the the power from the solar panels gets ran into this bat box right here and ran down to which something which I'll be showing you. Something that truly exciting. Oh, it's dangerous down here. Oh shit. It's real dangerous down here. Okay, yeah, I've got a quarry set up basically. Um but I, and I just did it like the same way I've been doing before. It's a really simple setup, like really cheap materials. Just one electrical engine with a lever and powered, hooked up to my solar panels, like through the bat box that I was just showing you. And basically, I have it set up so all these items are gonna go into these three chests because I figure there's gonna be a lot of those three items, and I don't want them to get mixed in with the ores. And all the ores and good stuff is gonna go into this chest. So that's that's the plan. And so there's not a ton of power, but let's uh, get this going. I was waiting to, like, I it's all ready to go now. It's just about to start. Um, but I was waiting. Um, I was waiting for you guys to start. I guess it, oh, there's some water flowing into it. That wasn't there before. It was like, it actually had started mining. I think there's like a few things, yeah. Yeah, there's a few things in these chests because it, it did start just a little bit. Holy, look at, do you see all those mobs? Okay, it's doing its thing. It's finishing, I think. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting. Something new I've learned. I've been learning a lot lately, and um, that's why it's been changing how I want to do things. And so I've been kind of just thinking about what I want to do. Um, basically, I found out that I think... I don't know if... The, I haven't confirmed this, but someone told me that copper is found most, like... The best level for copper is level 55, and the best level for tin is level 30 or something, I believe. So, I was mining at level 12 only, so that's probably why I wasn't getting any tin or any copper, and I really need that stuff, so... Nice, it's working. Um, so, we're at level... Whoops. Didn't mean a screenshot, but we're at level 60 here, so we should get a decent amount of copper and tin, hopefully. Ooh, we already got an amber. Sweet. So it's working, but I think I'm going to have to be monitoring these. Just because I think it's going to overflow, because this is a big quarry. So I'm glad it's going slow. And I am just I want to be online when it's going. Because if it's overflowing when I'm not here, that's not a good thing. I don't think the ores would overflow, but maybe they will, be just because of all the Zycraft stuff. Um, so, yeah. That's that, and I'll just let that go for a while, I guess, and we'll uh, see what we get from it. Hopefully some good stuff. But in the meantime, let's go check out some other things. Um, by the way, this lamp is powered by this lever right there. So if it's if this lever wasn't on, I'll show you what it would look like. Like that. But you can make inverted ones that are automatically powered, and you have to power them to turn them off. So... Um, that is that. This portal goes nowhere. <laughs> it was to clear the rest house, but I broke it, and now it's now it means nothing. Um, something I've been using a lot is the project table, and I know I showed this I think in my last episode, but I've been making these plans, and which is awesome. Um, so I really like this plan because I make these all the time. These electronic circuits. Um, that's what it's for. It's for making these and. Basically, it shows you, you know, what's red is what I don't have in here, and what's gray is what I do have. So I, it says I have two redstone, and it sees I have one copper cable, you know. It says I don't have any refined iron, and I don't have um, any more copper cable, so it doesn't let me do it. But um, this one's for a solar panel, and same deal. So, yeah, that's just really easy, because then you don't need to remember recipes. You just, like, put it in there, get all your stuff into here, and and go you know so I've been using plans a lot and plan blank plans um, they're really easy to make 
um, you just need indigo dye and a paper and to get indigo dye I don't think it actually generates naturally because of some glitch but if you bone meal the ground you'll you'll get indigo flowers so that is cool because it works and it's, it's just easy to get um, but yeah so here's my ore chest I don't have a lot but I have a decent amount of stuff an okay amount not a lot um, enough to get going on some stuff for sure I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a port I'm gonna use a potato gun actually but I'm gonna make a portal to clear this house and we're gonna go check it out actually so let's head on over to clear the rest house which is over here and I just like to have a portal there because we're always kind of going to each other's houses and checking out stuff and trading things and that sort of thing but yeah I wanted to mention I heard about this thing called the pulverizer and I heard it's better than the macerator and my only issue with it is I think you can't use industrial crap power. I don't know for sure. I'm going to try it out. <laughs> but just because I really want to use industrial crap power. But um, someone told me they think it's from build craft power or thermal expansion power. Is that the mod it's from or is it from Thomcraft? I, I really don't know. I'm not up to. I got to start watching some videos on these mods because I don't know enough about them. Um. But I definitely want to make the pulverizer if it's better than the macerator. That sounds amazing. That's all I know. <laughs> I know it's all I know is it's better. So I hear. Um, alloy furnace. This is sweet. So he's getting clears getting into some red power stuff. That's awesome. I wonder if he's built anything red power. Cause I would love to see him work with red power. Cause I love the redstone stuff he comes up with. Cause. He doesn't like watch any videos or anything on stuff. He like comes up with stuff himself, and he ends up coming up with some really crazy stuff. So I think if he had red power, he could go bananas. Where does that go? Let's see where this goes. Oh, this just goes to a mine. <laughs> um, I think I'll do that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The sun setting. Wow. Nice view though. I. I did have Optifine, but now I don't. I don't know why I decided to take it out. I was I was playing around with a few things, that's why. But yeah, you can see I got a lot of rubber trees now. So that's why I've been getting lots of rubber. Not hard to get that stuff anymore. Um, but let's head on back to our place. Sweet. So that's that's all set up now. We can go back and forth. And the portals before were really glitchy and I don't think they are anymore they seem really really clean you know there's no like I can't get through the portal I haven't experienced that yet I really like I'm really happy with that because I didn't even use these because I was just like half the time it glitched me and it didn't let me even go through the portal so I think that's basically basically it for for what's been going on um, I'm gonna I think replace probably some glass above my solar panels with basalt because the new guy on the server rockman jtt i'll have his youtube link in the description because he does lps and he's a new joiner but um he told me that you can actually use basalt instead of glass because light does go through basalt apparently so that's nice to know because then people won't know my solar panels where they are there so they won't like i don't know <laughs> i don't know seems safer seems like the safer option all right guys so i think to finish the episode off we're gonna build a pulverizer and figure out some way to power it um we're gonna do it it's uh gonna be doable and so first we need to make a piston so i need three wood for that and i need some cobble as well um i need some iron right 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 you never have the right stuff do you like when, you, when I have dust, I need ingots. When I have ingots, I need dust. Okay, so I just needed one iron, really. Um, then I'll grab my redstone, and now we should be able to make a piston. It'd be nice to have a piston blank plan, actually. No, I, I, I'm always going to remember that. Um, it, well, I actually kind of get it mixed up sometimes. I know, like, the basics of it, but, like, is that right? Yeah, sweet. Um, now that we've got a piston, what else do we need? Two flint, two copper. So I'm just going to get that because it's easy. So we got two copper, two flint, 
Okay. We'll just put that in our project table. And I don't want to craft anything complicated anymore without making a plan. So I'm going to definitely make a plan and make this into a plan for sure. So to that, to that. Okay, now let's make this machine frame. So we need four iron, one gold, and four glass. So four glass, four iron, and one gold. Okay, um, so we got four iron. We just need the glass now. I'm going to make a couple blank plans and just, you know, craft everything. So I need some indigo. So actually, I've got some indigo right here. But what I need is sugar cane. All right, so we got um enough for three papers so oh more than three whoa we got enough for a lot of paper okay so put that in there make two blank plans should we can you make a plan for a blank plan <laughs> uh probably you probably can um sweet so i got two blank plans now i have everything okay so let's make this so let's make that okay easy easy you just gotta start with the stuff that's a lot and then it's makes it really easy so like that put a blank plan in bam look at that machine frame plan sweet deal because I figure I'll need this stuff eventually so it's good to have them I'm gonna have like a, a chest full of plans probably um, okay, so now the only thing we need is this. Ooh, easy. I don't need a plan for this. This is too simple. <laughs> so there we go. So we got the reception coil. So now we can do the actual thing. We can build it. Is it like this? Maybe. Um, what am I missing here? We need a blank plan in there. We need a piston at the top. What do we need? I know I'm missing stuff. Um, obviously the machine frame. And the two flint go here. So there we go. Pulverizer. So let's uh, pulverizer plan. Sweet. So let's get that. Good deal. We got one. So I want to try to power it using this. But. You know what? I, I I know a good simple way to test. A good simple way to test this actually would just be to do this, something like this. So we can do this and bam. Um, what kind of interface is this again? This is the same interface as the electrical um, engines. So this oh and the the rolling machine and stuff. So I think this is build craft yeah I need to build craft power this see how that doesn't connect um, let me just get make some redstone engines then and or you know what let's make a sterling engine um, did I, I did make one of those actually I think oh someone gave me combustion engines but yeah let's just use the sterling engine and just to test it out and we'll just throw it back here because I'm just testing it for now to see how it's oh shit Okay, I'm gonna place the pulverizer first. Okay, so now if I place the the Sterling engine, it should. Yeah, there we go. So, do I need a lever as well? You probably. I think you always need a lever. And some coal. It's the last thing I need. Okay, so if we put some coal into here. Okay, so it didn't start to work right but if we power it BAM look at that now are we getting stuff energy stored sick so let's uh let's try this out let's see what it does I'm excited <laughs> I, I I don't even know what this does so it's something new something new always ex excites me um, okay so let's put some iron in see what that does so for one iron what is it gonna give us I have a feeling it's gonna be like pulverized iron instead of mass like instead of iron dust or maybe it will be just iron dust 
Pulverized iron. Nice. I was right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I already got my pulverized iron. What are you, what are you giving me? Or was that two iron that was in there? And so that's why it's... Yeah. Okay, let's, let's just make sure we only put one in this time. Okay, one. Yeah, I think it just gives you two. But the question is, what's this pulverized iron worth? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I wonder if there's another machine that's with this mod that I should be using to cook it after this. Probably is. I should probably be watching some tutorials. But for now, let's just try cooking it in the, in the what's it called? The electric furnace. Let's see what happens. I'm assuming it's just going to turn into iron ingots. So we had six. So let's see what we get. I'm assuming we'll just get six iron ingots. Yeah, okay, so maybe... I heard with like certain things, if you pulverize it, you'll get like different things. Like you'll get like two kinds of things. Like see how there's like two boxes, you know, there's like two boxes here and then like what's this down here, you know. But but yeah, this is really cool. So I'm going to play around with this more and maybe learn learn a little bit more about it because I don't know what I'm doing. But um, it seems to be just as good as the macerator for sure. Um, and it's cheaper to power, actually. That's true. I wonder how good this would go with redstone engines. Or if it would go at all with redstone engines. I don't know. Hmm. I'll have to do some testing around with this stuff. But technically, you could power it with IC2 power, but you just have to hook it up to an electrical engine, and you could power the electrical engine with IC2 power, and, yeah. So I could technically hook this line that's going down to that electrical engine up to an electrical engine here um i want to have like i maybe i'll just make another room you know and i'll have two separate rooms for like the different um mods like so this will be like my ic2 room and then i'll have like the thermal craft or thumb craft I, I don't even know which one it is that i'm using but yeah something like that so anyways uh that's it for me i'll uh talk to you guys later